Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This week we are sticking with that Black History Month theme and we are doing Nichelle Nichols. She was the first black woman of power to have like a powerful role in TV. She co-starred in the awesome six series Star Trek. Learn you some shit if you ain't learned about it. You can't be friends with me unless you got a little bit of nerd in you and if you don't know about that shit, learn about it. <laughs> Facts. She is not only famous for being one of the first women of color to hold a leadership role on TV, but she also recruited the first black astronauts into NASA. She's putting black people in space out here. Also, she was involved with the first interracial kiss on television, and that kind of touches me, you know what I'm saying? Kind of paved the way for you know people out there that find love in other places, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, like myself, you know, I love my baby. <laughs> uh, all the music is gonna be my music. I tried to set that whole thing up, didn't. Also, don't have a feature artist for this week's video, which is okay, um, we're just gonna, we're just gonna keep it going. Next week, maybe it'll be different. <laughs> Peace and all the love, thanks for coming out, let's get into the video. So you'll notice just like last week, I went ahead and used my projector to project the image from my notepad. When I draw, I drew her out in my sketch pad first and then I just projected it on. Um, trying to just save some time, save some effort in the redrawing something and maybe not doing it as good as in my sketch pad. Uh, using these oil paints is a gift and a curse because it takes so long to dry. So I knew time was very, 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 very sensitive. So I went ahead and just projected did it up there. Also, we're gonna keep with that same uh, theme of having that black background, but we're gonna switch the colors up each week, but we'll get into that a little later. <laughs> So you'll notice that throughout the course of this painting, I redid and redid and redid those skin tones so many times. Uh, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get away from depending on so many black outlines and whatnot to kind of shape my characters. And, and I, I really want it to be more of a contrast of color than the black outlines. And that's just something that I'm just gonna have to continuously work on. This painting isn't completely free of black and bold outlines and whatnot, but that's kind of where my headspace is at. So now we're kind of getting into the hands. Now, if you follow me on social media, you'll know that I've been really, really, really working on perfecting drawing my hands. Matter of fact, I'll show you. I have been trying sketching and like all of that so much lately, um, trying to get my hands right. And you know, I think that I've gotten a pretty good grasp on hands uh, thus far. And But <laughs> with this painting, for some reason, um, it was just really tough 
to 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 get these hands right. I'm pretty sure it's because it's I was using the oil paints and with acrylics you can just paint over acrylics, but with oil paints you have to wait for it to dry and I'm impatient as fuck. So um, the hands didn't come out exactly how I wanted them to, but I still learned a lot. Um, it's all about time management with this stuff and taking my time when I'm painting because I was using kind of a bigger brush to get it. Anyway, no excuses. Uh, learning. Uh, growing paint. <laughs> Just doing the <laughs> so much of the skin tones and and black details and uh, but um the dress is usually red like in the show but since we did red last week as that uh, main color for the big red I wanted it to be a different color so I chose orange and orange is pretty close to red so I just don't want you nerds coming and beat me up because I didn't have the exact same color for her dress as she wears in the show. It's, it's more so to just fit with this set that I'm going for. <laughs> We're just adding a little more detail again. We're messing around with the colors on the face and trying to match up the shadows on the face and whatnot. But finally, we're getting to getting those eyelashes on her eyes. I swear she looked weird as hell <laughs> until I put those eyelashes on there. I, I should have done that a little bit earlier, but this is my process. This is <laughs> how I got to where I'm going, I guess. <laughs> put oils over acrylics but not to put acrylics over oils and that's why I kind of left those spaces just clear or you know without anything on them because I, I, I like an under layer on things but uh, this one I left it alone because I didn't want to put too much acrylic over the oil and some of it went over but you know I think that it'll be fine. <laughs> just cleaning up a little bit we're getting things a little bit better and just a lot of detail work and just going back over things at this point and we're starting to get into the point where I'm ready to put the quote up the quote was super sweet to me I think that it it touches home and it also speaks to uh, it speaks to women getting into the sciences and getting into in a NASA like she did she recruited the first black woman in NASA as well as the first black man into NASA she's putting black people in space and that's so awesome for that area 
Sierra to do and for it to you know, grow from her role on Star Trek. So I thought that the quote spoke to that and I thought that the quote also spoke to me, you know, just in general. I was raised by two cool ass mamas, love them both to death. Uh, my other mom, Kim, she uh, loves Star Trek and you know, I wanna dedicate this to her because you know, she was on that nerd shit before I even knew what a nerd was and before I embraced the, <laughs> the culture so much. Thanks so much for coming out this week. Loving this Black History theme. I'm thinking, I, I think that I'm finding really cool Black people to kind of, you know, go tributes to because these people are cool as hell. Like Dick Gregory last week was sweet. Michelle Nichols, she's dope as hell too. Like I love, 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 love what she's contributed to the Black culture and to, you know, nerd culture and to us all. <laughs> I love it so much. Love you guys so, so much as well. Thanks so much for coming out, and I will catch you guys next week for some more Black History Month.